guys, this is any of my customs here. I'm gonna show you uh, the new process for reconing uh, subs from Soundcube. How they send a two-piece recone now. So they send the cone actually separate from the bottom assembly. So I've got a couple other videos out that show how to disassemble and clean and prep a sub uh, to be reconed. I'll put that in the description. And then I have another video that shows uh, the full recone process of the old style. So I've assembled this HCC 318 um, up to that point, and then I'm gonna show you the difference between uh, how you used to do the recones that they provided and what a lot of other manufacturers do um, versus uh, this two-piece setup now, which it's just an extra step really. It's not too much more uh, work to do. So this HCC 318 um, uh, has already had the bottom assembly uh, shimmed so it has the shim still in uh, the former here, and then the bottom assembly has been glued in and then also bolted into. Um, I went ahead and just used the bolts. Now, with the aftermarket recones um, that SoundCube provides and with the glue that they provide, um, this stuff here, uh, it is strong enough to where you do not need these bolts, but they do send a pack of them, so if you can get them all to line up, which this, a uh, sub had never been reconed before, so it was pretty easy to get them all lined up. I just went ahead and used them. All right, so we're going to go ahead and show the process for reconing this, uh, for doing the top assembly of it. Um, everything you need, you're going to need a whole, a whole uh, array of clamps, um, some tape. Uh, I use a like a Bondo spreader. Uh, it's a little bit thicker spreader. It's actually a decal spreader um, to help push this around down. You need your CA glue and activator. And then since we're going to be installing a carbon cap, you also install the paper cap too, and I'll show how that works. Um, but since we're gonna be installing a carbon cap, you also need some of the uh, um, Wonder Glue that SoundCube sells. Now they have this white and then black. The black dries black, and then the white actually dries clear. So we're gonna be installing a carbon cone. This is one of the first ones that they've made for the 18. Uh, and so we wanted the clear uh, glue on there. Uh, you're also going to need a Sharpie marker, and then uh, since we're doing the carbon cap, you need a pencil, and that's just to give you a line, and then a light, and then, so the first step is, uh, there's actually two pieces of rope that they provide in the recone kit. Um, so what you're going to do first is actually set up your cone onto the former, and then just kind of Give it a spin, check everything out, make sure it looks fairly aligned, which this one looks pretty dang close, so I'm real happy with that. So now the carbon cones, they have a different style surround, so there's no screw holes on it. So you just kind of have to look from underneath and then line up your, your gasket, uh, so that way you know where the screw holes need to go. Now, uh, the first step, like I said, is you're going to just place this here. So one piece of string goes underneath the cone on the bottom side, it wraps around the former here, and then another piece of string just goes on the top side. And that just gives that, that cone a very strong joint. So when we go to put our CA glue in there, we've got this, this nylon rope that is actually sandwiching the cone together so it makes a real strong joint. Uh, the first step here is going to be, uh, you take your Sharpie marker and we'll get our light on too so we can kind of see what we got going on. And all I'm going to do is you kind of want this just to rest, so like not apply any pressure to it. But I don't want it to move, so I'm just going to put my hand on it. And I'm just going to mark with the Sharpie there on that side. And I'm going to rotate it around. And then mark on this side. Now you could go crazy and draw your mark all the way around if you want to, but that will work for what I'm wanting to do. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop the cone off, set it off to the side. And what we're gonna do is, is we take our piece of nylon string, and we get our glues here. So what we're going to wanna do is, just to kind of give you an idea of what we got going on here, is this string is going to sit where that line is and that's why you draw the line so you can get it straight. Because then when we put the cone on there, the cone's gonna rest against that against that string. That's basically your stop. Okay. So what we'll do first is we will 
go ahead and just put a little bit of glue, a little bit of CA glue on the end of this. And then what I'm going to do here, so I've got the CA glue there, I'm going to just put it right there on my line and then hit it with the activator. And then I'll go ahead and pull our string around. Now, what I like to do is where I made this other mark, I'm going to put some of the CA glue there. And then I'm going to kind of Pull the string just slightly so I keep tension on it and keep on coming around. Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to hold it like that in place and then just hit it again on this side with my activator. Kind of just hold it there. Okay, our rope is there in place, so it's glued on this side and then on this side, so it still has a little bit of flexibility here on the sides. But that's okay because we want to make sure that it still lines up good with our cone. So we're going to take our cone again, set it on there, and we're going to just kind of check everything out, make sure that's tight the way we want it to be. That's sitting very, very tight to that string, so that's right where I want it to be. The surround is sitting nice and flat all the way around, so that looks good. And we'll apply glue all the way around this string, and then apply glue all the way around this top of this basket here. Does it matter what you do first? Well, since you just sprayed activator on this rope, this glue is going to try and set up pretty quick. Mm -hmm. So you want to get this um, on there pretty fast. No, I know. You want to do it last because right if you put the glue on there, it's going to want to try to set up pretty quick because it just had activator on it. Oh, okay. I get what you're saying. So now here's where the clamps come in. And what you don't want to do is clamp where there's a screw hole at. Now the thing is I don't do a lot of 18 so I don't have a jig for this. But for my 15s, when I do those, I have a plastic ring that goes all the way around the surround and then clamps down. It puts even pressure down all the way around it. So it makes it really easy to do this. But even still, this isn't too bad. Like right here on this part, mm -hmm. I'm putting so much pressure down on it. So what we're going to do is I'm 
I'm just gonna lightly hit it with activator just to kind of glue the cone down to that rope. And then I'm gonna go back over and completely cover that rope here in a minute. I'm gonna kind of lay the sub over on its side. And I'm also too, um, which I think I mentioned, but I'm leaving the shims in uh, during this whole process just to avoid it shifting the, the former over to one side or the other, keeping everything aligned as true as possible. So what I'll do is see, I just push on this around just to where I start to see glue start coming out. I'll just apply pressure and then just hit it with the accelerator. Does it seep through this? Yep, the foam, as you can see it, like it soaks it up like a sponge. Mm -hmm. And it and it evaporates really fast too. Um, the CA glue, it just needs to, uh, to just uh, pull it in from the air. So as long as it can get to it from the air, then it will, uh, it will kick it off, so to speak, and, and dry the glue. Um, sometimes I do. Cause... It seems like you use a lot of the activator compared to how much glue you yeah, use. Yeah, this is a four ounce kit. Now the activator is the same in both kits. Mm -hmm. A two ounce kit will do an 18. So, um, and actually if you, if you do it right, you can actually do two 18s with a two ounce kit. Mm -hmm. Um. And then to kind of check it to make sure it's it's glued tight. And these surrounds are very, very stiff, but you can just kind of squeeze on the surround to see if it moves. So on a carbon cone, the surround is extremely, extremely stiff. Where compared to- I wanna feel the stiffness. Like a normal recone <laughs> like this, the surround is a lot more flexible. Now this one is the one that was blown that, that we- That one's a limpy. That we tore apart yesterday, so it's a little bit different anyways. It's been- <laughs> worked over pretty good but you can just kind of squeeze this around all the way around just to see if there's any part that's loose and if there isn't put pressure on it and just hit it with the activator some more. Okay so then I also check to see if any of the glues run out any of the screw holes because I laid a pretty healthy amount on there before I go putting the gasket on like there's a little bit right there so I'll just hit it with the activator Ooh, now to do this part what you want to do is you want to get a good bead going in that gap right there Activator on one end, and then you can just set it down in the glue like that. And now it's there. And we can wrap that all the way around. Is that okay that it doesn't go all the way around? Yeah, that's all right. On the bottom, you want it to touch all the way around, but that's okay if it just comes up a little bit short. Mm -hmm. I was measuring these things. <laughs> and then we just hit that with one little spritz of activator just to kind of hold it there in place. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just push that down as tight as we can get it to the cone. And then we're gonna fill that with glue all the way around.
Well, well what I'm out. doing is I'm putting it in the top because I want it to soak. So I want that rope to be saturated with that glue because okay. that'll make it a... Yeah. It will uh, make it a lot stronger that way if it's completely saturated with it. Mm -hmm. I'm just gluing this? Yes. Yeah. Well, this is important because this is where there's going to be quite a bit of stress. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I went ahead and finished doing the gluing on that. Um, basically, you want to fill out to the point to where the glue almost lays flat. So you want to keep rolling out. And I haven't put any activator on yet because I'm wanting the glue to kind of soak into that string. So, um, or into that, uh, uh, yeah, that nylon string. And I'm kind of watching it underneath too to see if any of that glue is soaking down. And it looks like it is, so that's good. It's going into that lower string as well. So, that is a good sign. That's what we want. So we'll let that kind of sit for about five minutes or so, just kind of really soak into that string. Then we'll just barely lightly hit it with activator and then we'll tip the sew up on its side and do the uh, the bottom string. And then we'll put the dust caps on. And I wanna get it in tonight.